Hey everybody, this is a comment review video. Uh, this is something new I want to start doing on my channel as often as I can. Maybe we can do this every day where I go over the comments from yesterday's video. So the video has been up on the internet all day already. So there's quite a few comments built up. Uh, the video we're going to be talking about is TJV2597. Title was Date Night. This is when Britt and I went to see Cirque du Soleil. And this was released this morning, for me when I'm filming this, on uh, August 9th, 2022. So let's see what you guys had to say. Go through a few of your comments here. See if I can pull them up on my phone and I can respond to them right here. At first I was a little concerned. It said that I had no comments on this video. Like, wait, 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 no, 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 no. I have quite a few. I have it set to uh, approve comments now. So when you send, put a comment on my video, it gets sent straight to me, and then I can approve it. That's just so that we can reduce the amount of spam comments that are in my comments. Like I'm trying to get you guys to go to a different website and scam you guys or whatever. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of those. So every comment that comes in now, I have to approve, which I'm actually kind of liking because this forces me to see every single comment which is, I, I really like that. It That way no comments slip between the cracks and I see them all and I can respond to a lot more of them this way. So I responded to every single one or I at least uh, uh, left a, a heart or a, a thumbs up on every single comment. So uh, I was able to get to all of them. So let's go through a couple of the top ones. We're gonna filter them out to Top comments here we go Paul Smith you're number one today it says you two look like you had a great time well done it's easy not to make time for these things work-life balance is important I absolutely agree with you it's so easy to just let time slip right past Britt and I talk about this all the time too time is flying by I know we're still young I'm, I'm 34 uh, but seems like just yesterday I was 24. What happened? I'm looking at myself in my vlogs. I'm like, man, I've changed. I'm getting older. Like, I got to make the most of my life now because, you know, I'm going to turn around and blink and poof, it'll be over. And am I going to be happy with all the stuff that I did and accomplished? I hope so. There's only two people you got to impress in your life to be happy. Eight-year-old you and 80-year-old you. Everything in between is very important. David Kerr, you're always one of the very first people to leave comments. I believe you're also subscribed on Patreon. You support us there, and on Patreon, uh, they get first access to my vlogs. I always post it there as early as I can. As soon as it's on the internet, it gets posted onto Patreon, and the, the supporters there get to see uh, have first access, and he's usually one of those in there. He said, you're all going to love, uh, you are going to love Cirque du Soleil. My wife and I saw them in Nashville one year, and it was amazing. It was an Avatar-themed one. Enjoy. That's awesome. I think I'd really like that. After Is this light really bright? It, it's really bright in my eyes. I'm trying to give myself some good lighting in here, because the lighting in this truck isn't the greatest. So just bear with me. I, I might be... We're learning new things here, okay? I'm trying new things on my channel here, like I said in that past video. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll get a good rhythm going here. We'll perfect this yet. The next comment here is from Dale Cox. Nice to see you out and having a good time. Yes, it's been a long time since these type of events have some normalcy once again. Cheers. That was the best thing, going out to a, a packed arena and it just being a normal good time. No screening before you go in there. No, uh, masks are optional. If you want to wear them, you wear them. If not, no, there's a few people wearing them. And no one bugged them. No one really cared. If you want, I saw a couple of people wearing the masks. Who cares? You want to wear one? Good for you. Go for it. But no one's telling me that I have to or like you that you have to. It's just, we're, we all just came together just to have a good time. It's so nice that the world is going back to a little bit of normalcy. It's still far from normal, but progress, right? We're, we're moving in that direction, it seems. Kimberly Shallaby. I see your comments on here quite often. 
I recognize your username. It says, hello, Britt and Josh. You both have a natural glow brimming with happiness. So good to see you both get to enjoy a beautiful evening out. Dinner looked delicious at Olive Garden. I'm not familiar with this particular show you went to. It's different. Hope the rest of the week is as wonderful as you both are. Thank you. That was a nice comment. Thank you so much. I responded to that one too. Lisa Max said, nice to see you all out enjoying life. I saw a show in Florida years ago. It was amazing. It was at Disney Village. Love the family and the pups, of course. Oh, love to the family and pups, of course. That's awesome. Speaking of Florida and Disney World, Britt and I are, are, are really hoping to be able to make this uh, vacation work yet. Uh, we'd like to go uh, in September or October. We're hoping to go down there to Disney World and uh, and to Florida. For uh, We'd be down there for about a week. Uh, we need a vacation. We need to get out and do something. We've been locked up for years now. Quite literally. And like I was just saying earlier, it was nice to get out and about and do some normal things in Winnipeg. I think it'd be nice to get out and about and go on vacation. We've been working really hard. It'd be nice just to take a week or two and just go do something else. Just relax. We'll see. Hopefully we can make it happen. Nathan Jones says, enjoy these date nights. Once little Josh gets here, you'll never want to leave them. I see Brit rubbing her belly. <laughs> uh, no hints, no hints. Uh, for those of you who missed when I talked about it last time, we are uh, going silent on uh, the whole IVF front on the channel here for now. Uh, we have two shots to get Brit pregnant through this IVF transfer. We have gone through one transfer already. We're not going to talk about it until we have some solid news to tell you. Okay, if we try both of them and uh, we got to go through this whole process again, we'll address that at that point. If one of them takes and uh, we get to the point in the pregnancy where we can hear the heartbeat and we feel comfortable sharing it with you that, yes, she's pregnant, we'll do that then. We just don't want to jump the gun. There's, it's a high-risk pregnancy if she gets pregnant. And we don't want to jump the gun and announce to the whole world, there's a baby trucker Josh coming. And then, you know, like... Uh, a week later have to uh, share some some sad news that it didn't make it or something right so that's the reason right now we're gonna keep this part of it private it's just gonna be a few weeks to a few months and then we'll uh, fill you guys in on everything that's happened in that gap so it's not like we're hiding anything from the internet we're very open we're sharing it all with you uh, we're just gonna wait a little bit and then we'll uh, we'll catch up a little bit later but uh, no hints, either way, doing my best. Uh, who's next? John McLean, great looking couple. Glad you got out and enjoyed yourselves. Both of you have an awesome week and Josh truck it safe. Thanks, John. Zach says, I absolutely love watching you guys. I've been watching you for at least six years and cannot wait to hopefully one day meet you guys in person. I hope we can meet you one day too, Zach. Thanks for watching. Don Shaw, I definitely recognize you. You've been uh, around here watching my videos for a very long time too. You've been putting up with me, all of my bad, terrible jokes and all of my my terrible failures at trying to make people laugh. You've been here through a lot of it, so <laughs> see what you have to say. He always leaves nice comments. I'm sure you loved being at Cirque du Soleil. We have been at most of their productions in Las Vegas and a couple shows here in Minneapolis. You've got to admire the performance, the, the performers for their athletic abilities and their impeccable timing. Hope you had a wonderful date night. We sure did. We sure did. And thank you for all of your nice comments. You've been very encouraging throughout the years. And it's always nice to see your name there in the comment section. A couple more here. There's a lot of comments. We're just going to go through a few here. So if you want to be featured in tomorrow's comment review, leave me a comment in uh, today's vlog which would be 2570, uh, 2598 on the vlog, the main feature of the channel. Uh, I've mentioned it a couple of times now that I want to create some new content, some different different series on the channel, a little spin-off from my main vlog. But the Trucker Josh vlogs, my vlogs are going to be the main feature content of this channel. Those are going to be like the, the feature presentation. 
the rest of it is sort of me just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. I'd like to create some more shows uh, on top of what I'm already doing. You know, like the silent trucker. Well, we're going to try that out. Uh, we'll, fi we'll, f we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Richard Thomas says, Excellent seats. I really enjoy when you film the both of you doing things together. We really enjoy it too. You know, and, and very often I don't film enough at home. And Britt always bugs me. She always says, You're not filming enough when you're at home. She wants to be included in, in, in the vlogs. And uh, that part of our life is very important to share as well. It's just that when I'm at home, I often get carried away just being at home and catching up with work, uh, working on the truck, working on my vlogs, trying to update my channel or something. And I'm very often don't vlog those days then. I sort of take the day off from vlogging. But uh, uh, we gotta find a way to uh, uh, include more home time footage, I think. I agree with you, I agree. Naz Can says, Britt is beaming. She looks absolutely amazing. You're a very lucky guy, Josh. I know. I know. I'm a very lucky guy. Royce Morales says, Every trucker ever. I've delivered there before. <laughs> I think I say that to my wife like a million times a week. That's when I was mentioning that uh, when we're talking about parking garages and parkades that we had uh, delivered all the concrete for our new parkade downtown Winnipeg. That's going to be opening soon. Yeah. <laughs> Typical trucker, right? Uh, well, that's about 10 or so, 10 to 15 comments there. Uh, maybe I'll get better at going through more of them. But this uh, comment review has already gone over 10 minutes. So we'll leave it here for today. Let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section. And uh, we'll see if I can get better at these. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.